Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're doing a little Southern Utah Thunderbirds action here today. We're giving out helmet stickers for our loss at UNLV. And it is episode number 71 here. Let's start with the offense. And let's start in the passing game. Obviously, we had to start our backup quarterback. John Kearney did not play due to injury. He's going to miss the next nine games. And his season uh, is essentially over. He may be able to return for either that last game against Rice or a bowl game. And he finished here with uh, 193 yards before getting hurt. One touchdown, three picks. Mitch Dalen started the game against UNLV. 13 of 24, 147 yards, no touchdowns, and two interceptions, an 88.9 rating, bringing a season total to 15 of 28, a 171 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions, and uh, his average rating is 94.6 on the season. Jake Arsenault came in in the second half, went 12 of 18, 157 yards, two touchdowns, a 176.6 rating, and he earned three helmet stickers uh, for the... 150 yards passing and the two touchdowns are actually the 176 rating and two touchdowns. So three helmet stickers for Jake Arsenault. On to the running game. Marquez Trigg, not a great game at all. 17 carries, 50 yards, a 2.9 yard average. He has four helmet stickers already on the year from his 91 yard game, first game of the season, and his two touchdowns in that game as well as... Uh, getting to the 200-yard mark on the season. Mitch Dalen, four carries, lost 25 yards, and uh, he's pretty much losing 6.2 yards every time he gets sacked, it looks like. So now he is uh, 56 yards away from getting back to even on the season. Do you guys think he can get there on the year? Christian Tielli, four carries, 13 yards, a 3.2-yard average, brings the season total to 17 carries, 53 yards, and a 3.1 yard average for our backup running back. It spells Marquez Trigg every once in a while. And still no uh, 20 plus yard gains, no explosive plays in the running game yet this season. Uh, hopefully we can get something going on the ground soon. Toa Afatasi, the fullback, two carries, six yards, one touchdown for which he gets a helmet sticker and a three yard average. So he's got 28 yards on the year. And that's all that the running game produced in this game against UNLV. On to the receiving numbers. And let's start with the big tight end. William Adams had two catches for 36 yards, 18-yard average. Brings the season total to four catches for 53 yards, 13.3-yard average. No helmet stickers yet for William Adams on the season. Up next is a guy that we need to get going very badly. Todd Glover, no catches last week against SMU. Only one catch this week against UNLV for nine yards. He's got four catches for 44 yards on the season, an 11-yard average. And in three games, not a single helmet sticker for the guy that's supposed to be our best receiver. So Todd Glover, we really need to get that guy going and get him involved in the offense somehow. Josh Smith had four catches, 65 yards, a 16.2-yard average. And... Uh, he gets a helmet sticker for going over 50 yards receiving. And he has six catches for 75 yards now on the season and one drop back in that first game against UMass. But a good game for Josh Smith, four catches, 65 yards. Naya Ursua, five catches, 61 yards. 12.2 yard average, one drop. And he gets a helmet sticker as well for going over 50 yards receiving on the season. He's got eight catches for 90 yards. He'll get another helmet sticker when he reaches the 100-yard plateau. Rodane Deleuze, two catches for 20 yards, one touchdown, for which he gets a helmet sticker. On the season, four catches for 54 yards. He has two helmet stickers from two touchdowns so far on the season. So Rodane Deleuze, four catches on the entire year, two of them for touchdowns. So we might have to start looking for him more in the red zone. Gary Peterson, good game from him. Four catches, 56 yards, one touchdown. He goes over 50 yards, gets a helmet sticker. He catches a touchdown pass, gets a helmet sticker. He's got two so far on the season. Um, there were some mistakes on the helmet stickers in that last after that last SMU game. I have now uh, ironed it all out, so these helmet stickers should reflect accurately what they've earned so far this season. 
going forward. Marquez Trigg, five catches, 44 yards. And he goes over the 100-yard mark receiving, for which he gets a helmet sticker in this game. Even though he didn't have the greatest game in the world, uh, season accumulation of 100 yards will get him a helmet sticker. Offensive line numbers. The offensive line had a really good game against UNLV. You wouldn't think so um, by the way we got beat, but Mike Alston, one sack allowed, a 1.08 grade, brings his average to 1.10. He had a helmet sticker from uh, the 1.17 grade against SMU. Anything 1.1 or above, I'm giving a helmet sticker to. PJ Taeo Tawanu'u. Three pancake blocks and a 1.03 grade. So he gets three helmet stickers for the pancake blocks, and he had his way with the guy across from him uh, on the offensive line. He pounded him pretty good. Tony Sirocco also had a pancake block, gets a helmet sticker, a grade of 1.00. He did give up one sack, though, and his average grade on the year is a 1.04 for the center. He had a really good game, actually, in watching the film of this one. Craig Hamilton, also a good game at a 1.05 grade, second highest on the team for the game, and he gets a helmet sticker for a pancake block. He gave up a sack, no penalties on the offensive line in this game. There was a holding penalty, I believe, on a receiver. And like I said, the offensive line had a really good game. Some of the problems we had was uh, tight ends blocking, running backs picking up blitzes, stuff like that. Those were some of the issues we had. Ryan Rhodes, though, did not have a good game. 0.93 0.93 grade, lowest so far of the season of any offensive lineman in any game, I believe. And that brings his uh, season average down to a 1.00 grade. In the kicking game, Paul Phillips did not attempt any field goals. He has one helmet sticker from that uh, one he made between 40 and 49 against UMass. He was 3 of 3 on PATs, of course, 7 of 7 on the year. Uh, probably will not miss one of those. No helmet stickers given out for PATs. And let's move on to the defense. Eric Horn. This guy is an absolute beast. In this game against UNLV, he had four tackles. All of them were sacks. So four more helmet stickers for Eric Horn brings his season total up to seven for the seven sacks that he has. Sione Fuoco-Fuoco had one tackle, brings his season total to two and one TFL in that SMU game. Did not record any stats in the first game against UMass. Andrew Eide, two tackles, one TFL. He has yet to record a sack on the season. And this is a guy, like I mentioned in the uh, last helmet sticker episode against SMU, that we really need to produce on the defensive line. Kenneth Jude had one tackle, a TFL, no sacks. Brings his total to two tackles on the year and one TFL. He is a young player, a freshman or a sophomore, I believe. I need to. I'll get the. Uh, I'll get their uh, year up on this screen for next episode. Hopefully, so we can tell what they all are. Stephen Welsh, five tackles, one TFL. Tony Terrell, five tackles. No helmet sticker for Tony Terrell. He had one from uh, his six tackle performance against UMass. Uh, backs, linebackers, and defensive backs need to get six tackles for a helmet sticker. In my opinion, if you guys disagree, let me know. Josh Correa, four tackles, one TFL, one sack. He gets a helmet sticker for the sack. Chinedu Ahanonu had a massive game against UNLV with nine tackles, and that earns him a helmet sticker. He's up to 15 tackles on the year with three TFLs. And let's go to the secondary now. Martavius Redmond had three tackles, one TFL. He has two helmet stickers on the air from uh, the first two games where he had six tackles, only three in this game, season total at 15, three TFLs as well. Mitchell Daly had six tackles, three TFLs, and those six tackles are going to get him a helmet sticker on the game. He's got 13 on the season, four TFLs on the season for Mitchell Daly. And uh, the nickelback, Eddie Garrison, had six tackles Today, he already has two helmet stickers for a six-tackle performance against SMU and the interception against UMass. He gets another one for his six tackles against UNLV. Scott Myers saw his first action of the year, three tackles against UNLV. Not enough for a helmet sticker, but good to be on the field, I'm sure, for Scott Myers. 
And like I said, I need to get what, whether they're freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, I need to get that up on here so we can tell. Uh, Max Veno Petit had four tackles, one TFL, not good enough for a helmet sticker. He did get one last week against SMU with his nine tackles. And Manuel Poole, the last defender here, five tackles on the day. Not good enough for a helmet sticker, but he did earn helmet stickers from the last two games. All right, punting. Paul Phillips, four punts, 42.7 yard average, 38.5 yard net. He has two helmet stickers from the one that went inside the 20 and the over 45 average that he had against UMass in that first game. So that is the helmet stickers for UNLV. Up next, we're going to look at Conference USA here in week number five and get some scores and highlights as well as a look at the conference standings. As we finish off our non-conference portion of our season, next game we will play will be a conference matchup against Marshall here on Southern Utah Thunderbirds Dynasty on Mama's Basement.